How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another video, and today we're back with a Sakarsid review for you guys. Uh, after, have you ever watched a movie that makes you just want to jump off a cliff afterwards? I'd be like, this world is horrible. I'm, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm out. Nah, bro. Nah, nah, buddy, I'm good. I could watch it again, but I probably should. So then, friends, my grandma. Hello. We will be reviewing Cricket on the Hearth. <sighs> Lord Almighty. I hope that cricket falls off the hearth and burns in the freaking fire pit. Because this funny story, this was actually my most anticipated Rankin Bass movie. I was so excited to see Cricket on the Hearth this year. I thought it was going to be really good, and I thought it would actually beat Santa Claus's Coming to Town. Breaking news. I'm an idiot. Okay, because this... <laughs> Cricket on the Hearth. It's like Twas the Night Before Christmas. Worse. It's on that level. Jesus. Okay. So, it follows this... It is worse, actually. Shush. <laughs> it follows this guy. He invites a cricket to come and live in his house and do daily things with him. Which I found kind of cute. And, you know, it's like nothing can go wrong. Now rethinking it, that's stupid. Everything in this movie was stupid. I thought that was just meant to be, like, you know, cute and stuff. And the cricket would... You know, that's uh, just cute. No. 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 This movie is garbage. So, in the house, it has, well, the dude's daughter, Bertha. Big Bertha. <laughs> Her name is actually Bertha. Um, And her boyfriend who has to go on this long ship ride. So he leaves, and there's a report that he gets lost at sea. Just, you're going to hear this right. You're not hallucinating, just so you know. The news blinds Bertha. Yes, literally blinds Bertha. She cannot see anymore. Huh? She wasn't blind all along. That blinds her. Rankin Bass. Okay. There are times that I think Rankin Bass is an adorable kids making company. And then there are times that I think they're total psychopaths and just really, they have like a Patrick Star level IQ. Because that's what this movie was. <laughs> that's what this movie was. What in the world? Yeah. It blinds Bertha. Big, fat, crusty, musty, rusty Bertha. Okay. And he pretends to be a... The, the dude, the... Mm, I can't even speak, guys. Okay. So her love interest actually comes back and is too afraid to confront her and say, I'm back, because he somehow knows that she's blind, and so he pretends to be a hitchhiker. <laughs> the dad, coincidentally, finds the hitchhiker slash the love interest and invites him to live with them. The cricket, I have a feeling that the cricket is in love with Bertha, because he was really pissed off <laughs> at that dude for pretending that he was a homeless guy. And honestly, that is kind of screwed up. But, you know. And why is the cricket British? Why? Why is the cricket had to be British? Everyone else is American. Oh, okay. But uh, literally, this isn't... This it isn't London though. It's set in America. I'm pretty sure, and everyone else is American. How is the cricket British? I wanted the cricket to have a cute voice, but he was British. <sighs> huh? I'm going to give Cricket on the Hearth a Cricket. 
burning and screaming for help, which was my emotions watching this movie, a 4 out of 10. I hate this movie. And if there's a cricket on my hearth, I'm going to take my hand and go... Die! Okay. (laughs) And that's just in response to this movie. I'm not having no British freaking cricket sit on my hearth and ate some some crumpets with some tea, mate. I'm not doing that. Anyway, cricket on the hearth gets a four. My life goes on. Grandma, what are your thoughts? I'll give it a four. I'll give it a four also. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why it's a Christmas. It's supposed to be a Christmas movie. There was nothing Christmassy um, about it. There really wasn't much Christmassy about it, except that the old the old innkeeper or the old toy store owner wanted to marry her on Christmas Eve, remember? That was the only Christmas Eve. That was the only Christmassy thing. But anyway, um, it was a good attempt. There, there are a lot of different cultures that look at crickets, especially having a cricket in your home, as being a good luck charm. So that brings out a little bit of um, a little bit of cultural awareness, and then um, it also kind of shows where they get this cricket to come live with them, and then they just start doing stupid things. All of them just start doing stupid things, and their life kind of turns into garbage. And, um, God. anyway, they end up homeless and everything. It's just a big mess. It's a real Debbie Downer. It's not fun to watch. The music is not really, I mean, it's not like you even walk around the next day humming it, you know. It's, you know, it's not like you're humming Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer the next day, you know. Um, I don't know. It, it wasn't, it wasn't hugely impressive. Excuse me, you mean it wasn't impressive at all? No, not really. So, I hate this movie. I mean, as far as, yeah, as far as, like, I mean, if you're just looking for something animated that, you know, doesn't have any blood and gore and guts in it, it's it's great for a family movie, but that would be the only reason why, because it's just kind of blah. I, I think kind of this is worse than The New World. I don't, I mm. like The New World more than I like this. Right, but if you were like five, you would okay. probably like to watch it anyway. just because it's animated. Yeah. But anyway. Is that all? That's it. Well, that's going to be it for my review on Cricket in the Hearth. Hope you guys have a horrible day because I had a horrible evening watching this movie. I'm joking. Aww. Anyway, hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.